What's going on guys? You're watching Ninja Lifestyle. Today, Trick Tip Tuesdays, I wanna give you guys some mental cues and some physical cues to help with tray flips. Now you watch any trick tip and they say, the key is in the scoop. But no one does a good job of explaining exactly what scoop means. Scoop involves the axis of your board. You wanna think like this would be a vertical axis, this would be a horizontal axis, and most tray flips end up somewhere in the middle. What helps me when the board only does a, a 270, because that seems to be a common problem when people learn tray flips. What helps me is I visualize the board on a vertical axis. Now, you're not gonna actually flick the board vertically, but if you try, you'll end up somewhere in the middle. Think about it like this. You're doing this, you think about doing this, you'll end up somewhere in the middle. Because if your scoop is right, you'll never under rotate. There is one other technique I want you guys to try if my advice doesn't work. CJ, instead of focusing on a vertical axis, he focuses on getting his back foot out of the way. Since it's moving back, it has no way to follow the board around. You know you're messing up a tray flip when you do it and your back foot follows the truck around. Okay, if you pop and you do a <laughs> one of these, never a good idea. So what CJ does, he gets his back foot out of the way, lets the board spin, eventually catches it over here, and this foot hovers over the back truck. So think about it, pops up, it's spinning, and then it comes back at the last second and gets back on there. That's how a lot of people that do the trick downstairs do it. But I don't do it downstairs, so I have my own technique. One of these two techniques is going to help. And if it doesn't, then maybe you just weren't built for tray flips. Maybe it's just not in your future. So just give up now, just stick with varial flips. Here's a few clips of us landing the tricks. Maybe it can motivate you to try a little harder. Hang your toes off the edge. 